conferences with Rudy Giuliani. Right, thank you. Thanks, Brian. Uh, does Hillary have a stamina problem? I didn't notice it tonight. Yeah, I thought at the she end was, of She's very good in closing the last 30 minutes of these debates. I didn't see any stamina. You guys keep talking about her stamina. I thought at the end of the debate she was talking on and on and on and didn't make any sense. In fact, uh, the moderators gave, gave her far more time than they yeah. gave Trump. Do you think they're prejudicial? I, I do. Why? But, why but, would but they be I, prejudicial? But, but I, but I like. Why it. would they be rooting well, for but, her? But let me explain to you why I liked it. Right. Because as she went on and on and on, she made less and less sense. Okay. And the reality is she never asked, answered the key question. Why did she destroy 33,000 emails that were subpoenaed by Congress? She never answered it. It's a federal crime to do that. And uh, it, she had never, ever explained why she destroyed those emails. How ridiculous was her explanation about Abraham why, Lincoln? Why didn't the FBI How? charge her then? Why didn't the Justice Department charge? Because the Justice Department and the FBI, uh, obviously something went wrong in this case. You don't have the president, her husband, meeting with the attorney general you think, uh, you four think days that, that before. You James Comey was bent on this thing? I have no idea. You suggested it just now. Well, I You said they met on the plane. What, what do you think He happened? didn't meet on the plane. You said that the president, Bill Clinton, Pre was meeting President with Bill Clinton meets with, with Loretta Lynch on an airplane okay. in Arizona. Uh, then on the 4th of July weekend, they have an interview. I look at that 302, here's what she said. She didn't know that the C in the front of a paragraph meant confidential. Now, how come I remember that and I was in the Justice Department in 1981? If she didn't know that, she was either too stupid to be the Secretary of State or she's lying. That is exactly what Jim Comey put Martha Stewart in jail for, lying to the FBI. So she you... did it. She also, 39 times, okay. said, I can't recall. I can't recall. I can't recall. I can't recall. She also said she doesn't remember her exit interview with the CIA because she had had a concussion and she had a loss of memory. Yeah. And, she, and, it, and it was never followed up by the FBI. The FBI never asked to see the medical records. The FBI never asked her when she said she thought the C was alphabetical order. Did she see an A? Did she see a B, a D, an E, an F? Yeah. I'm sorry, this used to be my business. If they gave me that 302 when I was U.S. attorney, yeah. I'd throw it in their face and say, go back and let's start questioning her again. Okay, what happens if you had a, as you as attorney, you had a, in a federal case, you had a defendant who's on tape, videotape, talking about how he picks up women by grabbing them by their crotch. Uh, would you take that as evidence and use it? If uh, somebody said it actually tape, happened. No, if he said he did. Uh, I mean, men say we a had lot this of on. No, he said he did it. Would you take that as evidence that he did it? If he said he did it. Well, I don't know. Far, there was far more evidence than Bill Clinton. No, we're just talking about this case. Well, no, when no, a guy no, says I talk, did it, why would you not use that as evidence? Case. So let's talk about Bill Clinton. Well, one at a time. Start, let's start with. Well, let's how start come with he the, wasn't prosecuted for raping uh, Juanita Broderick? How come he wasn't prosecuted for taking advantage of an intern in the White House? These well, actually because happened. Because there's no tape of him saying I did it, whereas we've got a tape no, of was, Donald Trump saying his, he did it. No, there was semen on her dress, okay. which proves he lied to America. Just like her husband, she is getting away with lying to America. And So you're not comfortable and, with this videotape, are you? And not, you're not, not comfortable with this conversation about videotape, what we're watching from Access Hollywood. I, you knew it's a problem. I am absolutely comfortable with it in the sense that he apologized for it. Do I think it's he the He said right it was thing? locker room conversation. He didn't say he admitted anything in that tape, which he did. That's not the bad language nobody cares about. It's what he said he did with women to pick them up. Men say stupid things in locker rooms. I was a baseball player, a terrible football player, but a good baseball player. And now I play a lot of golf. Yeah. I hear a lot worse than that. I've played golf with Bill Clinton, yeah. and I've heard worse than that. Did you ever hear a guy say, uh, I I've tried to pick a, up a married woman, it didn't work? I probably have. Yeah. Did you ever and, hear a guy say that and, I pick up and, women by grabbing them? Oh, uh, come on. You know, this is ridiculous. It's not. Yeah, it is not. And, and, and you are offended that he brings Juanita Broderick, who got raped, uh, that... You didn't hear me say that. I just went through the whole whatever, list of, whatever, list of whatever, charges by them. Whatever, I went through every one. Whatever, whatever he said, Bill Clinton did much worse. And Juanita Broderick said... Bill Clinton raped her, I know. and Hillary Clinton attacked her. I'm, I'm aware of a big part of that. So, I've also so on this program, now? on this program, Rudy, I have brought up the fact of Kathleen Willey's charges. We've talked endlessly about the Paula Jones charges. All this has been in the air and debated on this program. Okay. There has been no defense so, played by me on these so cases. His. So I'm just trying to get to all truth, his, including okay, the truth of the truth candidate. Indis his indiscretion, his reprehensible language, which he called it was wrong 
He is he a role said model? It. it was 12 years ago. Is he a role model? As, as much as John Kennedy was a role model. As much as Lyndon Johnson was a role model. You know what I'm talking about. You've been around a long time. <laughs> and I've been around a long time. <laughs> anyway, we have tapes as here. As much as case. they were role anyway, models. Who's more of a Baghdad uh, Bob? You, you, you know, or Carver? You know who I will let okay. off the hook? I'll let Abraham Lincoln okay, off the hook. Okay. And she is completely... That was, all right, that was she was else. completely lying that about that. Maybe she Lincoln. was completely lying about, about Abraham that. Lincoln? Yes, and he nailed her with it. He nailed her with it. it was basically... How did he nail Explain. By saying, basically, you're not Abraham Lincoln. When she said public and private response to everything, he was saying that. He, he was saying she, that he was blaming she, it on Abraham Lincoln. She blamed it on Abraham Lincoln. Okay. She said, I, Abraham Lincoln, blah, 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 blah. I read the transcript. Okay. What she said was, I have to say to you, the bankers, stuff that you'd like to hear because I want your money. But then I got to say other stuff out there because Bernie Sanders is coming after me. That's what she said. You know what that's called? It's called lying. Thank you. Rudolph Giuliani, the former mayor of New York. Back to you, Brian. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um,